everybody. Today I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour and basically it's exactly what it sounds. It's the bottom of a bottle. I actually have three different size bottle bottoms that I ordered off of Mixed Media Girl. Um, so you can check out her website and order these. Now it's big, medium, and small. I'm actually going to use the big one. I am working on a 12 by 12 canvas. So I'm going to do what is called a dirty pour. So instead of just pouring individual colors on top of the bottle bottom, I'm going to go ahead and pour colors into my bowl here. And then I'm going to pour it on top of the bottle bottom and just have the paint kind of go out through the, the creases of the, the bottle. Now you don't have to buy one of these. You can go ahead and cut like a bottle bottom off of like a soda bottle or a water bottle or whatever has like these grooves on it. I have done that already. It works just fine. Um, it's just a matter of making sure you have a straight line all the way across because if you don't, paint will go underneath. So I opted to buy some off of her website and you get three. Um, I don't know if she still has them or not, but I imagine she does because she does a lot of that stuff. So again today, I think I am actually going to start with some metallic black. And I'm going to do some metallic purple. I'm going to stick in the metallic family tonight. Then I'm going to go and put in some uh, metallic cobalt blue. And these are all Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints. Because I do not trust myself mixing colors. I tried it once. It did not turn out well. So I have not tried it since. But again, I don't trust myself. And this is the old gold. I do not know if they made a new gold. This, what the color is, is old gold. And I'm going to put in some non-metallic colors as well, just to balance it all out. So I'm going to put in some cerulean blue. And I'm also going to put in some, um, some titanium white instead of metallic white. Okay, so that should be enough paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into the center of the bottle bottom. You don't want to do it too fast because you don't want it to go over the grooves. Just want to kind of let it flow. And it gives you this really cool pattern. And on like a actual triggering pour, you don't have to worry about any extra drips that's going to come down onto the bottle bottom like you do in a tree ring because it will show up. So I'm just going to swipe off some of my excess paint in my bowl. And this has some nice screws in it. So when you do lift it up from the canvas you have something to grab onto instead of like an actual bottle bottom where you kind of have to um 
hold, like not lose your grip on it because it doesn't have any like these grooves that she put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. Okay. And I was going to press down here in the center to try to fill that in. And once it's filled in, I can then go ahead and tilt. Okay, that's almost all filled in. So I'll go ahead and let it fill in the rest by itself. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and tilt it. Do enjoy using metallic paint because of all the sparkle it has in there. And nice thing is that I don't have to keep this in the center. I can then move this to anywhere I want to go, depending on where I like it. So I don't have to keep it in the center if I don't want to. That metallic purple really did take over, didn't it? It gives you some really nice lines, which is always cool. Okay, so I make sure you get all the edges as well. And like in this corner, it's not flowing very fast. So I just go ahead and like put some paint in that corner and have it flow a little bit faster that way. One stubborn corner down here. Let's see if I can get some paint down here. Of course, it's being super stubborn. There we go. Let's move this back down into the center a little bit more. Kind of looks like a lightning strike a little bit to me. So I like it. It's kind of cool and different. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook at Jen's Jiggers, YouTube at Jen's Jiggers. And I will take a picture of this and post it in all those platforms where I just mentioned. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, whenever you watch this. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.